Hi, I'm Charles Schwab. I like to be called Chuck, actually. I started an investment company a number of years ago. But when I was a kid, and not only when I was a kid, even today, I'm a dyslexic. Speaking to myself as my younger self, what would I do and how would I handle my dyslexia? Obviously, I understand it. Get all the help you can, whether it's in school or through associates you work with in your business life, which will come later in your life. The most important thing, I think, is understand the issue. It's not life-threatening. Uh, there are some benefits to it, actually. I think in my way of thinking, I think much more about conceptual things, probably in many ways much quicker than people are more sequential in their thinking. And so there's some benefits to that, and I think it, I found out in running my business that I could conceive of things more quickly and maybe than other people could. And it helped, obviously, in trying to determine and develop a company and come up with novel ideas as such. So there's positives and negatives to being a dyslexic, uh, but I found the positive ones, and I don't think much about the negative ones. Uh, and it's okay, you'll find out you'll become somewhat of a humbler person, and that's okay, that's a good trait to be humble in your sense, you don't know everything, and so it's good to go to people that might be smarter than you about a subject matter, and uh, I think it can actually lead to some leadership qualities also by being acceptance and accepting of other people's strengths where you show weakness, they can help out and you can come together and solve things together as a team. Kids struggling with a mental health or learning disorder need a place to turn. Please give to the Childline Institute at childline.org so they can help more kids like me.